in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Mary Meko charts. Let's hop in. So I'm going to show you how to build a Mary Meko chart and I've connected to Superstore and I'm going to use subcategory and segment. The Mary Meko chart is basically an organized tree map. Instead of seeing each section sort of in the tree map unorganized, we can place all of our values side by side and order them and organize them. And it makes it really easy to use. Let's actually get into Tableau and actually build this out. I'm going to start by building two calculations that look identical and it's going to be window sum of the sum of sales and whatever your measure is here you can just put in but you need the window sum or the total here and i'm going to call this sales by segment that's key here I mean, we're going to break it down by segment i'm going to build a second calculation that's the exact same in fact i'll do it the easy way just going to duplicate it and I'm going to rename it to sales by total. We're going to use these two calculations to build out our visualization. Now that we have these created, I'm just going to take segment, click and drag it onto color and subcategory. I'm going to click and drag that onto detail. Let's change our mark type from automatic to bar and all we have to build here are three calculations, one for our rows, one for our columns, and one for our size. Let's start with the columns. In the columns, we're going to get a percent of the subcategory. And the way that we're going to build this out, it's going to be a two-part calculation. Let's start by creating a calculated field, which is just going to be sales by segment divided by sales by total. And that's going to be the calculation that we'll start with. And we'll just call this sales by percent subcategory. Now let's take this calculation and we'll drag it out on columns for the time being. We're just going to edit that calculation and we're going to change this so that our sales by segment actually is choosing segment and our sales by total are choosing both segment and subcategory. And now we're just going to take this calculation and for now we'll just put it on size. So we have this calculation. We actually have to build another calculation off of it for it to work. And what we're going to do is we're going to place that sales by percent subcategory into our visual, into our calculation. And we're going to wrap that inside the lookup function. And what the lookup function is going to do is find the beginning values for us. And we'll wrap lookup inside a ZN and then further running sum. And I'm just going to call this X because that's really our X axis that we're going to create. Let's take this X calculation and let's bring it out on columns. Now we're just going to edit our calculation for sales by total. We're going to check both values for sales by segment. We're going to select segment and for X, we're actually going to select subcategory. And you'll notice that our visual is starting to come together here. Uh, it's not quite there, but it's definitely it's in progress and it's on the way. Let's uh, now create our rows calculation. For our rows calculation, we're just going to click and create a calculated field. We'll call it Y, and then we're just going to say sum of sales divided by our sales by segment. And we'll hit OK. Let's go find Y, drag that on our view, and edit our calculation. And we're just going to choose segment. Now we're almost there. Believe it or not, we have this visualization that is almost cre created. Remember we put sales by percent subcategory over here? Let's just change this to fixed. And there we have it. It is now, if we take a look at it, bounded from 0 to 1 on the x-axis and 0 to 1 on the y-axis. And that tells me that we've set this up correctly. Our last step is just to sort our bars. And we can just right-click on subcategory. And we can choose sort. And then we're just going to change from data source order to field. And because we're using sales, I'm going to go find sales and choose descending. And you'll now notice that our visualization has been sorted. And that's it. That's how we build a mirror macro chart. We just format and we're done. So that's it. Oh, one last thing. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Data Coach. Thanks.